Hello and welcome to my tutorial. In this video I will show you how to set up Desmium Wi-Fi with a wireless connection without the use of a virtual box or anything like that. Um, in this particular video we will be connecting to the private server, so consider this two tutorials in one I guess. And yeah, let's get started. You will need two things. First of all, Desmium, that's Wi-Fi capable. Um, if you've done all of this before, just like selecting your firmware and BIOS, then chances are you won't need to do this again. But just in case, I will provide a download link in the description that includes all of this. And yeah, if you're new to this, make sure you install WinPCAP. Uh, I've done the setup before, it takes like a second, so nothing to show here really. And yeah, so first of all, after you've installed Hamachi, go to your control panel Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings. Now, hopefully if you started your PC, because chances are you might not find this in your uh, network devices. If that's the case, then I guess try reinstalling or restarting your PC. It's, it happened to me for some reason, but yeah. If your wireless network connection and Hamachi are both here, then we can get started. So, first of all, right click your wireless network connection, go to properties, sharing, and select Hamachi and allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection and tick this box. Now, you will need uh, the device IP of your wireless network connection. If you don't know it, then just go to your common prompt. <coughs> and go to ipconfig all. Now scroll up to where it is. Uh, where is it? Ah, there. Uh, for me it's 192.168.2 and 1. It can be any number here depending on your PC really, but should be something ranging from 0 to a single digit number. Uh, so now we're that we know that. Let's go to Hamachi, Properties, Internet Protocol version 4, just double click this, and use the following IP address for the first line, we're just gonna type in 0, 192.168.2 and 1. The second line just stays the way it is, just leave it like that, and for the default we'll type the same. Now for the DNS, we'll just use the default Google DNS, but you can use anything really, as long as it works. If you don't know any other, just use the same as I do, and click OK. Now, so we're almost done actually. Let's go to Desmium. Config. Emulation settings. If you haven't done the setup before, then just select your BIOS images. They should be called BIOS NDS9 for the ARR, ARM9 BIOS image in the folder, and for the ARM7 BIOS image, BIOS NDS7. For the firmware, it's just firmware, it's the same. It's all in the folder, so nothing to worry about. And Wi-Fi settings now, infrastructure and for bridge and network adapter, select your Hamachi. And now for the ROM, make sure you have patched with the wfcpatcher.exe. Just take your ROM and throw it in there and should be patched. Otherwise, you cannot connect to the private server. So once you've done that, let's just start the ROM. Uh, wait, I've changed the directory. Um, yeah, if you patch it correctly, it should say no SSL dot NDS. And uh, now go to Nintendo Wi-Fi connection settings. If you're not on a new save, obviously you'll have to wait until you can save to do this. 
here I've already done this, but for this tutorial, obviously, we're going to do it again. So let's erase this. Search for an access point. Since this is the Wi-Fi capable Desmium, you will find the soft AP, but it will probably fail after this. No, not probably, it will definitely fail. Alright, now we've let this run through, so go to your connection again and now we'll edit some things. First of all, auto obtain IP address, click no. And for the IP address, we will put in 192.168.2, which is just the same as your device, and plus 10 for the last uh, digit. So that's instead of 1, it's 11 for me. Now, subnet mask, just 255.255.255.0 as usual. Uh, gateway is 192.168.2 and just normal 1, which is just the device IP that we've found earlier. Now, for auto obtain DNS, obviously no. Now we're gonna need the IP of the private server. And this is 104.131.9387. And the same for the secondary DNS. So once we've got that, we can try and test the connection. Let's see if it works. And as you can see, it was successful. So I guess now just to test some things, oh, I forgot to save it, but <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm going to make a cut here and try and see if it works. So now after accidentally erasing my Wi-Fi settings and being stupid, uh, I've got it working again and let's test if it actually works. So let this run. Oh nice, I got the sprite glitch. Perfect. Also, one thing I want to add, um, if you've disconnect disconnected your soft AP in the current state where you're trying to connect, chances are you will get a error code called 52200. That's a bug, just restart your ROM and it should work fine. And as you can see, we're connected, everything works fine, so... For everyone who thought it doesn't work without having a wired connection or using a virtual box, it does. And I guess if you have any other problems or any questions, just ask in the comment below. I'll try to answer it if I can. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.